Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Today I want to show you how to make the wonderful humu humu aku aku apu a, and that is a um, tiki drink and you, uh, that you can find various recipes uh, all over the internet. However, today I'm using the specs from the great tiki book, the Smuggler's Code. This recipe I am uh, willing to try for a long time, and I don't know too much about the origin of the drink. However, I know that the complicated or relatively difficult to pronounce name of the drink is taken from the way the reef or the lagoon trigger fish is caught in Hawaiian. Both type of fishes are caught the same way in Hawaiian as far as I know and the trigger fish is the only fish that is able to eat sea urchins since the eyes uh, are located on the top of the head. Also as far as I know the literal translation to humu humu aku aku apoa uh, from Hawaiian means trigger fish with a um, nose shaped like a pig. Anyhow, um, let's not waste more time with uh, maybe uninteresting facts for you and go straight to the drink. We take our shaker and into the shaker we're gonna put 2 ounces or 60 ml of gin. I'm using Spanish gin today. Okay, to that we're gonna add 15 ml or half an ounce of orja, that is the fancy way to call uh, almond syrup. After that, the recipe calls for 22.5 ml or 3 quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice. And the same amount of 22.5 ml or 3 quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Okay. Two dashes of patience bitters and we are ready to go. Okay, we're gonna add some ice to our shaker. Give it a good shake. The shake, the shaker is cold. Okay, we're gonna strain over crushed ice. That's the reason why I will not double strain. Okay, and to decorate, you're supposed to use an uh, orchid, and then I'm gonna add, I mean it's a ticket ring, so you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm gonna add some more flowers to make it more festive, and the recipe also calls for a um, maraschino cherry, or oh, maraschino cherry, come on. I'm gonna place that one here as well. Okay, now we're gonna drop a straw. And that is how we make the humu humu aku aku aku. Let's give it a try. Wow, that is really unexpected flavor. Uh, mostly I noticed, or initially I noticed the pineapple notes and the one from the orja and um, I have to admit since I place my straw really close to the cherry I'm getting a little bit of the aromas from the cherry as well however the gin is not uh, despite that there are two ounces of gin the flavor is uh, really well balanced and the gin is not kind of kicking you in the face the herbal notes from the gin play very well with the, with the bitters and everything else. And um, I haven't tried this drink before, so I was not sure what to expect. But it's definitely super refreshing and um, 
To be honest, initially I was thinking, okay, we have kind of the same amount of booze than um, the rest of the uh, ingredients. So I was, I was assuming it to be slightly spirit forward, but I have to say it's definitely not the case. It's very well balanced drink, very delicious, very smooth and um, perfect for, uh, especially for now when the days are getting a little bit warmer and we feel more like taking a drink and enjoying life. So um, I definitely, definitely gonna recommend this one. I know I say it quite often, but if you have to choose any drink I show in the channel this month, definitely go for that one. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye everyone.